In this video, I want to go over question number five on problem set two. The setup for this problem was the following. We have a line, L, going through the points 1, 2 and 2, 1. So this is that line L here. And we want to describe the region to the southwest of this line as a half space. So what that means is we want to find some real numbers a1, a2, and b, so that we can describe this region S here as the set of vectors with components w1, w2, satisfying the inequality that a1 times w1 plus a2 times w2 is less than or equal to b. Okay, so another way that we can think about this inequality here is that says that the dot product of w and a is less than b. Okay, so that's a half space and we want to express this region S here as a half space. So the first step that I would take to solving this problem is to first figure out what is this line L. Okay, so we can express L as the set of points of the form u plus t times v minus u for some real number t. Uh, you can see that because if I start with the vector u and then I add to it the vector v minus u, I can think about v minus u is represented by this arrow here. right? It's the arrow that connects u and v because when I add v minus u to u, I arrive at v. And as I start at u and I add different multiples of v minus u, I can go anywhere on this line. So for example, if I started at, had the point u plus one half times v minus u, then maybe I would end up here. If I had u plus negative a half times v minus u, then maybe I would end up over here. So by changing this real number t, I can end up anywhere on this line. So if we plug in what u and v are, so u is 1 comma 2, uh, and v minus u is 1 comma minus 1. So that's the equation of this line little l here. Okay, now that we know what the line is, Let's start off with an easier problem. So let's look at the line capital L, which is parallel to little l and goes through the origin. And let's first start off trying to express this area shaded in here to the southwest of the line capital L as a half space. Okay, so the line capital L is just given by is the set of points given by t times 1 comma minus 1. Okay, so how can we express this line, uh, this region as a half space? So the first thing that we can do is figure out a vector a which is perpendicular to the line L. So we want to come up with a vector a which has zero dot product with any vector along the line L. So while well, any vector on the line L is of the form t times 1 comma minus 1, so if I choose a to be 1 comma 1, then we see that the dot product of that with this is going to be uh, 1 times t plus 1 times minus t and so that's just going to be zero. Okay, so the vector one comma one is perpendicular to anything on the line capital L. And you can also see that from, from the picture, right? This makes a 90 degree angle here with the line capital L. So now I claim that the shaded region here, let's call it capital T, is exactly the set of vectors w that have negative or non-positive dot product 
with the vector a. So this is the set of vectors w for which the dot product of w with a is at most 0. And you can see that because we said that the dot product between two vectors, w and a, was equal to the norm of w times the norm of a times the cosine of the angle between the vectors. And if I look at any vector in this shaded region, maybe this vector, you see that the angle that it makes with A is greater than 90 degrees. So in radians, the vector of any, the angle that any vector in this shaded region makes with A is going to be between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Because of that, the cosine is going to be non-positive. Okay, so that's why this dot product is going to be less than or equal to zero. Okay, so this shaded region is quite easy to express as a half space. All we have to do is find a vector perpendicular to the line uh, defining the shaded region, and there we go. The shaded region is a set of all vectors whose dot product with the uh, vector a is at most zero. Okay, but this wasn't our original problem. This was kind of an easier problem. So let's see how we can translate this into our original problem. So what we can do now is we can look for a scaling of the vector a that lies on the line little l. So in that case, if we multiply a by 3 halves, then we get a vector that lies on the line little l. So really, our set, the set that we're interested in, which is the set of all points to the southwest of the line little l, is this set that we know how to define as a half space, the set t, shifted by the vector 3 halves times a. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, any vector, let's say we have a vector on the line here, little l, well I can represent that as a vector on the line capital L plus 3 halves a. Okay, so actually any vector to the southwest of the line little l, I can write as 3 halves a plus a vector in the region t. So that's what I've said here. For every vector w and s, again s is the region to the southwest of the line little l, there is a vector x and t such that w is equal to x plus 3 halves times a. So now we need to see how we can express this translation in terms of half spaces. Well, if I write the vector w as x plus 3 halves a, then let's look at what its dot product with a is. So the dot product of w with a, in that case, is going to be the dot product of x and a plus 3 halves times the dot product of a with itself. So if you recall, a was the vector 1 comma 1, so the dot product of a with itself is equal to 2. So this quantity is going to be equal to 3. On the other hand, since x is in the set t, we know that its dot product with a is at most 0. So this is going to be at most 0. So overall, this whole quantity is going to be at most 3. So this actually gives our solution. The set S is going to be the set of all vectors W whose dot product with A is at most 3.